Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Back in February of this year, I let you know that Windows 11 may get a new app for file transfers. And as I mentioned in the video, which will be linked, Microsoft is apparently working on a new migration app that will allow you to transfer files between your Windows devices. Now, it does seem that we have a little bit more information now about the migration tool which has been spotted by Phantom of Earth in recent dev and beta channel Insider Preview Bolts, with Phantom of Earth saying, yeah, is a bit of the Windows migration flow in the latest dev and beta channel bolts. This is in the actual backup app, not the UI reconstruction we saw earlier this year. And that re UI reconstruction was what I mentioned in that previous video. So here we can see, as is mentioned, the migration flow. And there's a little bit more info available. So if we zoom in, we can see that the current Windows Backup app and the migration tool now are bundled into one app. And you've got two options. The first is backup this PC. Use one draft to securely backup all your files for easy recovery in case of accidental damage. And then you've got transfer files to a new PC, which is the migration tool side of the app. Transfer files, apps, settings, and credentials over a network connected to speed up PC setup. So basically, it's intended to make migrating over to a new PC or setting up a new PC a little bit less of a hassle. And then if we head to another image provided, going by what we are looking at here, it seems that the two PCs will pair using a passcode. And then once connected, the migration begins. So there's no need to use cloud storage or external drives. Just over a network, you can set up a new PC and easily transfer info from this PC to another. Now it's worth noting that this feature isn't widely available yet. It's still early days, being tested in the Insider program. But I don't see why this wouldn't make its way eventually into the stable version of Windows 11. I think it could be a handy feature when setting up a new PC as an example to transfer those files between different PCs. But I'll keep my eye on this and as I get the info, I'll try and keep you in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.